morning guys and welcome back to another tank Tuesday <laughs> so it's kind of becoming a thing and I'm enjoying my experience of tanks so far and as this tank it's not come to a stop it's still going on but uh, I want to make it the best I can and the best of my ability and as you're aware, I've been researching a lot on them, and there is a lot more to this than just building the tank. You know, next came the Zimmerit. Now, as far as the Zimmerit goes, it's still held on. I've had it in cold rooms, I've had it in warm rooms, and I've just moved it around the house in various areas. I've had it outside when it's been hot and sunny, and I just want to make sure that it doesn't come off, and I haven't had an issue with it yet. So I'm happy to go ahead and start working on the tank as far as the Zimmerit goes. Uh, some recommended adding weld lines and forwarded to me a video on where you can make weld lines using things such like your plastic putty or your milliput and stuff like that. So it's little things like this now which is actually delaying the pain and uh, in the last one you can see I've got this Henlon King Tiger out just to have a little experiment with my airbrush as it's been a while since I last used it. So I wanted to just get a feel for that and uh, just practice some shading for like free weathering and things. And now I'm wanting to go a little bit more and adding weld lines here and there. Uh, that's going to be another time consuming little bit along with the painting and these custom trucks that I'm currently on with building. So, I'm in a bit of a pickle at the moment, but on a positive note, I have found the tank I would like to do, and it's tank number 233. Now, I can only find two images of tank 233 on Google. There are images of a tank 233, German King Tiger, which is in a museum, but I'd read and learned that apparently it was someone in the museum or something they renamed I think it was originally tank 101 and they renamed it tank 233 in a mark of respect because it was tank 233 that blew this guy's tank up in the war obviously this guy's escaped to tell the story and survived that but that tank that you will see on Google in colour is not the official tank 233 and that doesn't help me being colour blind so I am currently trying to look out for the colours or the colours of what that tank would have been and it's a tough one so I have found myself an airbrush kit and it's a German World War 2 kit um, they again Vallejo, Vallejo airbrush paints there's like 16 in there all various so I've ordered that and then in there hopefully I'll have all the colours I need if not there may be one or two to source so my problem at the moment is working off a black and white image but I do have the tank and also you might be happy to know as this tank is going to slow down I may not have anything ready for next Tuesday as far as like the little detaily stuff and things like that that reminds me I'd uh, also got the mantlet sorted I do believe I had it on that one first and then upon doing some research for Tank 22 it was that mantlet so it, it's, it's all a fun learning experience but yeah back to where I was um, just to keep us filled in for a little while. Well, it's my daughter's birthday on Sunday, so we've got a, a little American armor tank. It's just a little graphics kit, just to see if she'll have a go. There's some little pots of paint in there, so she can paint it out if she wants. She can paint it pink, do what she wants with it. And it's just a snap together kit that I could do with her. And uh, hopefully have some fun in that and maybe try and get her involved into these a little bit more. I mean, she drives my trucks at the club. She's got the crawlers that she goes out with and stuff with me. And we do share the hobby in that respect. 
And she she actually saw a tank being made on a cake program she was watching. And someone was making, a, basically it was a cake, but they were making a tank. And she shouted me in like, Dad, Dad, look, they're making a tank. So it kind of melted me in a way that she thought of me in that respect, as I'm currently building a tank. So I thought, she, she there's obviously some interest in there. And when I asked her, would you like to build one? She said, yeah. So we've got that to start with. <laughs> So I can actually do that on the channel with her, might be fun, you know. And for me, I picked up these. Now, I've worked in Engage um, when I did the model railways and they're tiny. And they're 1 one forty eight scale. Now, I found these tiny little tanks, um, a little Sherman there, and a little German King Tiger. These are from a company called Zvesta, and they're 1 one hundredth scale. So we'll take a closer look at those as well in a moment. Because I will, uh, like I say, it's just something to try and keep Tuesdays going between this tank. Because I can't guarantee to have a video ready every week with this at the moment and everything going on. And with it being the school holidays as well. So, the rear panel so far, um, I'm halfway there with that and the zimmer it. But it's no issue at the moment because... I am no longer applying paint as of yet, as I'm looking at lots of images of tanks to find out where all these like weld lines go and stuff, and then I can have a practice, and then I'd like to do all the welding seams around the tank and everything else before paint. So, the rear panel is still in the works there. Now, in this one, because they can come off, I'm going to just um, install the armor panels, these, and when you look at tank 233, have I been saying 233 or 322? Yes, yeah, tank 233. Anyway, when, <laughs> when I uh, saw the two images of tank 233, it's actually the road to Budapest, and there's an image of it sat on a corner of like a cobbled road, and one of the rear armoured panels is missing and it would be that one which sits up the back here so we're gonna make a cut I've been doing a lot of that recently with the trucks so I'm equipped to do that at the moment but yeah I'm gonna make a cut and remove that section as 233 didn't have that and then we're just going to temporarily fix the armour panels to the tank for this one. And also, I've to put this together you need 2x6mm and they're like a positive head, Phillips head bolt. And I don't like stuff like that on display on models, especially when you're building a scale model. When it comes to my trucks and things like this, and this, I like to put scale hex bolts in wherever possible so I have got some little bolts with X heads there so we can put that in and it's going to be a bit more scale than a Phillips nut isn't it really screw so yeah for this one nice and easy getting the armour panels on there and we'll have a little closer look to what's actually in these tanks and if I go up in the loft somewhere, I still have boxes of model railway stuff, stuff I used to build my dioramas, I've got static grass applicators, static grass, all kinds of things. So, in there somewhere, I should have maybe a couple of little engage coaches or some engines and stuff, even some engage fine scale track and stuff like that. So, I'll bring some of that down just as a size comparison because I'm curious as these are going to be slightly bigger than the N gauge. So enough waffling on from me for the time being and let's get the um, armour plates cut and temporarily installed on this 16th scale German King Tiger. So first thing we're going to be doing is cutting this section off here and I'm going to be cutting from that side so the original image shows that it doesn't have that like panel line there where this would 
in fact like slot over that one as you can see on that one and then it slots over that way so that panel line where the joins join to join them together kind of to keep it looking clean I guess I don't know um, would be on this panel so we're going to remove that from there so taking a scriber what I'm going to do now is using that line and just gently up against it just scribe like I say I've already got a guideline with the lip there so it makes this job much easier I don't know if you can see that but the line is scribed in there so I'll just continue scribing at that now there's a clean groove to work with I can just take my trusted razor saw and just carefully take this section out Now a bit of sandpaper down the edge just to clean that up. And there we go. It's also going to add character to the tank as well because it's missing bits. <laughs> so I've just took the upper part of the hull off the tank for this section just for easier access and it's just easier to work with it here than fiddling under there. So I've got me a um, nuts and washers there. And we have the more scaly looking bolts there. We have a slightly bigger head than the posi drives, which I suppose could be filled, I guess. But I don't know, I just think they'd look a bit cleaner at the moment than the posi drives. So, so working from this side, <laughs> Hold that in there more. And washer. And nut. And then same again, this one just kind of slots over there. So I'm just going to continue to just bolt those up for now and I'll check back in with you in a moment when they're all on. So now we have all these panels in place, I'm just going to quickly throw this back onto the hull and can have a closer look at it. Now those are in place.
So as you can see, this does make quite a bit of difference as far as the build goes. As you've noticed, I still haven't put the front of the turret for the gun barrel on there, um, on yet, as I was still deciding. So that just needs gluing on and then the barrel putting in place. But that can all be done at a later date once we're more to that stages. And the tracks is going to be one of the last things that I do. So it's not much more progress, but a little more progress. And it's actually now replicating an actual King Tiger tank, 233. So, yeah, I'm glad I've got that one decided. It's been one hell of a journey just trying to find a tank to suit. So, before I leave you, um, as I said, here's some 1148 engage items. So there's a small piece of scrap track. I found an old church building actually in a box of bits there. So this should give you an idea on size difference and this is what I used to work on. So these are much smaller than this tank which is <laughs> extremely tiny. But that is a big class 66 diesel locomotive and they are beasts of a train. Uh, I love these because the railway is literally at the side of my house and it's more than likely every Wednesday you'll see these coming down the train lines with maybe 30 to 33 castle cement wagons on the back there and you get the coal wagons coming through and stuff and the big oil tankers. So we don't get much freight but over a couple of weeks we might see three or four trains. Actually, um, I'd like a Hot Wheels tank there. <laughs> so that'll give you an idea. So yeah, these are just snapped together. Um, look at that. that. This is the Sherman. So I've, I've realised these are small tanks anyway. But the size, it's it's tiny, but yet it's so big in comparison to the N-Gage. I've not opened the King Tiger yet, but it gives you an idea. I mean, look at the tracks. <laughs> so this is going to be fun, painting up and building. Like I say, I've got two of those, and... And we got this, it's just for little kids. Again, just a snap together American armored tank. Some colors in there that she can do. It's just a graphics thing, nothing special. It's not like heavy on the detailing and stuff. So should be a blast build on that with her. But most definitely looking um, forward to putting these together. So that's pretty much that for that one. Uh, again, I do thank you all for coming in and tuning in and watching. I'm sorry I've not made too much progress on this. And as I said, there's probably not going to be too much more progress goes over the next few weeks as it's all time consuming stuff. Hence these little projects, which should be fun to fill in the gaps and kind of keep a tank theme going, I guess, on Tuesdays. Um, like I said, I'm enjoying it. So... Again, I thank you all for watching and tuning in. Really do appreciate it. If you've not already subscribed, then do hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And if that notification of the video is not for you, then just ignore it and move on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Give us a like, drop a comment, and I shall catch you in the next one. Ciao for now, guys. We shall call you Jeff.